Hello Live Wires! Heather Boyd Wire here. Welcome to my DIY wire art and jewelry making channel. Today I had a special request from Re. They had commented on my paperclip wave ring tutorial and asked me to make a knot ring with the paperclip. So what you're going to need for this project are some paper clips. You're going to need your tools. I have round pliers, flat pliers, and these are cutters. Don't use your best cutters because the paper clips are very hard. And I have a ring cone. You can also use a thick marker or a highlighter if you don't have the cone. The first thing you're going to do is just take your paper clip and open it up. I find the best way is to get my flat pliers and just slowly open it up like that so you don't get any kinks in the wire. We're just going to go very slowly around the corners and right all the way down here until it's relatively flat. So once we have it flattened, we're just going to take this around and we want to form our knot. Make sure this end is a little longer than that end and then we want to bring it through the loop. So we're going to bend it around and we want to get our pliers to hold on to it. So just stick that through there and then we're going to just very slowly bring it through and we're just going to just rotate it with our kind of flick of the wrist there. So we're going to bring that one there and then what we want to do is we want to straighten that out a little bit straighten that one there and straighten that one out a little bit there and just wiggle it around if you have to. So you have a little bit of a kink there just straighten it out a little bit and then just bring that to there and that one to there. You'll see it's very stiff it's very hard to work with but it's kind of funky like that. So we're just going to hold it there bring it around and around there. Now for the backs you can just leave them like side by side or if you want them more finished just take your round pliers and twist it around so it's flush. And then this side too just twist it around and then we're going to just take our flat pliers, fix them up a little bit and then you can just kind of bend them so they're right beside each other, put it back on the ring cone and there you have your very funky little knot ring. You can also adjust the back so that the loops are sort of one beside each other like that. Whatever's most comfortable for you and still it's a little bit adjustable to wear it. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire work, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.